Hi there and welcome. This is Natasha with me and my stamps and thank you so much for joining me today. This past week I was messing around with a card background and I came up with using the balloon bouquet punch to make this background and I wanted to show you how I did it. So let me give you the supplies that you're going to need to make this. Obviously we're going to need the balloon bouquet punch. You're going to need your bone folder, a right black, basic black right marker, some glue dots, some snail, your paper piercer, some ink of your choice. I'm using Mary Merlot and some Tranquil Tide ribbon. Again, you can use whatever you want. I'm using the Tranquil Tide Velvet 1 4th ribbon from the holiday catalog and it is available at the time of, of the making of this video. And I'm using the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper. And I gotta tell you, you guys, this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. We got Mary Merlot, Tranquil Tide, and Copper. And I, I can't get enough of this stuff. I absolutely love it. Because actually, it's really shiny, but it doesn't come off. It's just, it's just so much fun to work with and adds so much shine and shimmer to your project. You're gonna need some glue dot, or not glue dots, we already got those, some uh, dimensionals. And I'm using the stitched shame, sh sh st stitched shape framelits, <laughs> and I'm using the large square, and that's going to be for the sentiment and the balloons. And this is like take 59, so I'm not starting over again, no matter how much I mess up. And we're going to use the um, Mary Merlot cardstock. And you're going to need two. Um, you're going to need some Whisper White paper. I cut this in one and three-fourth strips, and I just went down down this, the sheet of cardstock. And that's going to be for the, uh, the balloons, punching out the balloons. All right, let's move some of this stuff aside and get started. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take my dauber, and you'll also need a dauber, and I'm going to sponge the square that my sentiment is going to be on. Just to give it a little bit of depth since we're using white balloons. And you can use anything you want for the balloons. You can use DSP, you can use colored balloons, you can stamp with the stamps. I guess I should tell you what the stamps we're using. <laughs> okay, so there is quite a bit of stamps that we can use with this this punch. On page 72 we have the Happy Birthday Gorgeous and we're going to use this little curly Q ribbon for the balloons. And on page 73 we have the Birthday Banners and we're going to use this Happy Birthday here. And you can stamp like if you just want to use cardstock and don't have the glimmer paper you can use any of these stamps to um, to use for the background. And then on the next page we have balloon celebrations and that's the one I used on this this happy birthday and that is a beautiful beautiful font but I wanted to try something a little different and use um, the one from birthday banners and these are all beautiful sets I actually want to try this happy birthday on one too because that's a really pretty font too and that's in the annual catalog so let's finish doing that and then we are going to punch out our balloons and you're going to need about six or seven of these one boy that that got it close two Three, four, five. Oh. <laughs> that was really close. Six. Hmm. All right, so now we got our balloons. 
and our small ones. And I'm just going to use a magnet to hold this in place while I add these. And you can put these down any way you want. You can completely glue them down. Um, you can... Oh, first I want to place them. You can glue them down. You can put them down. Attach them any way you want. I found that if you do the glue, the glue dots, it kind of like curls a little bit. And I think I like that because it looks like the balloons are flying. But again, you know, if you want to um, glue them down, you can. And you're going to have this about right here, so I try not to hide any of the ribbon part. I rather hide the the balloon part. I'll throw that one that way. Mm. And just mess with how you want them, the placement of them. We have a holiday or a celebration catalog coming out in uh, January, and there's a punch on there that this this will work amazing with. So I want that one. I want the big ones. I like that. Okay. And then you can just take your glue dots and stick them down. This is really super, super simple, super quick. This would be a great card for a kid. With all these balloons on here. You could actually even do the glitter balloons all over too. That would be really cool. Now we're going to take this well loved stamp, <laughs> the ribbon, and we're going to put the little ribbons on. And the nice thing about doing this for um, with the, the the glue dots is if you need to kind of move one. Sorry, my camera's in the way of my head. You can actually lift the balloon or. I mean, I have to do any lifting on this one. Let me um, zoom you in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. Just put the the little string at the end of that where the the balloon where the air goes into the balloon. And it's okay if one or two overlap. And this one here I may have to close to get him on. And then after you do that, you may want to go in and attach some on the corner. Because when I go to cut, like see, just you're just going to put it in right there. And then just... 
um, adhere it. So when you go to cut, it doesn't move around all over the place. I notice the corners are worse than the rest. I'll zoom you back out. That one's going to be all right. Let's see, like this one here, it moves. You just want to make it so that it doesn't move when you go around to cut it. I've made that mistake one too many times. I'll do that one too. Now you can take your trimmer and cut it, or you can just do it with your scissors. I just go in there with my scissors and cut this off. It's, super, it's a super easy cut to do. You wouldn't believe how many times I've gone to make this video, you guys. <laughs> I just, all I could do was sit and just laugh at myself. I'm like, oh, just don't give up, just keep going. I hope you guys like this card. If you would like to see more videos like this, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And there's a little bell next to it. If you click that, it will tell you every time, it will notify you every time I upload a video. And I usually have lots of little tips in it for you as well. Okay, so now let's Put the sentiment on. I don't know if this is going to be too straight because I can't get my head in the video, but let's see what we can do. Hopefully. There we go. And I should have probably had a pad under that, but that actually looks pretty good. One tip I have for you is and I put in some of my other videos is to the chamois. The chamois actually comes like this, but it's too big to bring out. I mean, you could do it like this, but sometimes if I have it on my stamparatus, I bring this to the stamparatus. So I just cut it down the middle. Do I have one more? Yep, I have one more. I just cut it down the middle and then I cut it in thirds and then you get six pieces and it's a lot easier to handle than trying to bring this big thing to your to your stamp. But when they're like this you can just bring them on here like this and that works. All right, now we want to make our balloons and we're going to do two gold, two gold big ones, this paper, I can't, I can have, an, I, uh, I wish they'd carry this paper over forever, I love it, I love it, love it, love it, it's so pretty. Okay, and then we're going to have one green one, or Tranquil Tide, Mary Merlot, and this is actually copper. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Did I tell you? It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to save that one for later. So we want a gold one. A Mary Merlot or copper Mary Merlot and copper and I'm going to take my pencil kind of figure out where I want these and then I'm going to 
to bring this down. Um, let's see, that one there. And then bring this one. And bring this one. Is that where I want those? See, this way, if you don't like it, you can erase it, start over, which I've done. Okay, I want him to go about right there. And then we're going to come in with our basic, or our um, basic black, and just draw in these lines. Make it look like it's going behind the bee. And then you can go in and erase, erase the colors. It looks like a little tree, huh? <laughs> and then, um, let's see, where is the dimensionals that they walk off to? And I start with the dimensional at the very end by where you blow up the balloon, where the air goes in. And I put a second one on, but I figure out where I want to place it first, that way it's not off off the paper. Okay, so I'll have one over here. And the Mary Merlot we're going to put right there. So I'll put one uh, probably right there. And then this one, and I'm going to have right here. There. And then we're going to bring in some Tranquil Tide and make a ribbon. And I have to use my 10 second to bow maker because I am terrible at bows. And sometimes I'm, I even have to redo it when I do this one. So it's right over left and then left over the middle. And this is where I need to keep it kind of taut. Otherwise I have to redo it. And then try to turn that one. See? I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have done that without my my little bow maker. Oops. Then we're going to get a a glue dot. But I think first I'm going to put some dimensions dimensionals on this guy and attach them before I put my ribbon on. And if you stick your finger in there, in the middle of your dimensionals, they'll come up a lot easier. It's another little, nice little tip. And if you want, you can put Wink Estella on your, your cards, or you can color them however you want. We're going to just leave them white like we're going to do. All right, is that straight? I can't really tell. I hope that's straight. Oh, there we go. 
then we're going to stick our little bow on right here. These are my ribbon scissors because they're really sharp. Nothing else touches them ever. Ever. So, there you go. What do you think? Isn't that cute? And for the inside, I'm going to bring in a piece of white cardstock. And this one is three and three quarters by five. And we're going to take our little ribbon string. And I think I'm going to want him about right there. Can you all hear my cat outside screaming and yelling? And then you can attach this with whatever adhesive you have. We're going to use the snail. You don't have to do that little flick thing. I'm so used to my fast fuse that I always do the flick now. <laughs> and then we're going to add our little green balloon. This card is really fun for a kid or even an adult who likes lots of glitter. Like me. Hmm. And if you get any on that's not supposed to be there, you just roll it with your hand and it'll go to the other side. So you just roll it over like that. Let's see if I can get that in there straight. And there you go. So what do you think? Yay, nay. Pretty simple. Got some strings going on. Got a little balloon inside. I like it. So there's the Tranquil Tide and the Merry Merlot. Very pretty. So if this is the first time joining me and you would like to see more videos like this, please, like I said, hit the subscribe button below. And share it with your friends. And if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. And by anybody and everybody purchasing from my online store, it helps bring you you more video, it helps me to do more videos like this. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. And check out my blog. The link is, is here in the, in the picture. If you want to see uh, more cards that I've done. And have a Merry Christmas. And see you all next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.